Hey, what's up? What's up? Nigga, that is sir coming at you. Uh, making this quick little update video. I noticed lately people are having problems with their fa Facebook ads payment. So I'm making this video to kind of walk you through how to get your advertising accounts out of a bad standing with Facebook. You might have like a, uh, your payment might be disabled and you, you're wanting to know how to get your payment method re-enabled on Facebook. Well, there are several different things that happen with Facebook. Um, what I've come to see now over the last several years uh, running Facebook ads, um, different accounts for whatever reason react different. I've got several Facebook accounts because of this reason, right? Um, one of my main Facebook accounts, I think this is my actual very, very first Facebook account um, that I had when I first came on Facebook, which it actually got shut down. Um, and I was, I was going through this process to get them to reactivate my ads account. And then they just went ahead and I think now it says on there, I cannot advertise with Facebook anymore. You know? But yeah, see, access, advertising access is restricted. I'm no longer allowed to, to, you, to use Facebook to advertise products to advertise. So this may happen to you for whatever reason. You can't use hot deals with Spark, blah, blah, blah. You may or may not be able to, um, run your ads on your Facebook account anymore. And I know it might be a pain. It might be, you know, you built up your, your account, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this computer. But the thing is you cannot get butt hurt over, over not being able to um, advertise on one particular account. That's why I've got several different Facebook accounts, okay? Uh, so the main account that I use right now is this account. And this account I've had open for quite a while. Now, the thing with Facebook is you have to have get seasoned accounts. So every once in a while, maybe once a month or so, open up a brand new Facebook account, a new email address, just create a new email address, create a Google document, have a spreadsheet. I've got like hundreds of email addresses that I've used over the years for different accounts and stuff. Um, and just track your stuff on there, right? And then that way you can that way you can literally um be able to have multiple accounts you can take your time and build them up over time and when you build up the when you build up the facebook accounts then you can have multiple ad accounts okay and by when you have multiple ad accounts it, you you get around that problem of not having an advertising account because you don't want to just get married to one particular facebook account because you're going to set yourself up for failure and that's what happened to me when i started my e-commerce business a few years ago i was so I was baby in this one account. I had spent like a hundred thousand dollars on this one Facebook account, and then just out of the blue, for no apparent reason, Facebook just shut down the account, and I couldn't run ads anymore. It was just kind of like, what the heck? Like, what is this about? You know what I mean? And um, you know, they straight up screwed up my whole business. And you don't want to be, you don't want to be caught up in a situation like that where you can't run your ads okay so if you see a message like this where it says only active accounts can create ads there's another one there I'll show you better all right so on here now you can request a review um i've gone through the process with this with them quite a bit and you just need to walk them through this step-by-step -step, uh questionnaire right yes Boom. So it's just a simple little blurb like that. And sometimes they're dicks, to be honest with you. Sometimes they're cool, so they'll help you out. Sometimes not so much. So this is one option that you have. You have your support your support inbox right here. Now, Facebook, they change their, their uh, support process from time to time. So if you're ever in the business manager, you just want to check this from time to time and see if there is. Sometimes there's a drop down here where you can actually contact support. Or you can click here where it says still need help and it'll bring you to this page right here um okay so it gives you the warning on this but on this particular account but i'll go to another one of my accounts to see if it's available it might not be available because of the restriction but 
you might want to take some time and look at these advertising policies and all this advertising information back there because it will really help you to stay compliant. When I was using this account, I, 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 knew, I knew now I was not compliant with Facebook and their, their advertising terms. And this was a long time ago, so things were different back then. And uh, you can advertise um, a lot differently before, you know, a lot of the crap happened over there. But, um, let me see if I can do this. Yeah, so. Yeah, on on, a, on an account, a Facebook business manager account that is not prohibited to advertise like mine is right now, with that other one that I have, um, what you want to do is, like this one, see I have two business managers, this one is, a lot of the accounts, the ad accounts on this one, they're disabled. So, I found a loophole with Facebook, see, this one says you can't, I can't advertise on this particular account, right? And on this account, I figured out how to see how to label all of them. I figured out how I could actually create up to 22 ad accounts inside of my business manager. And I'll show you that hack in another video because it's a little trick. But I also figured out how to get multiple business managers on one Facebook account, even if your Facebook account is messed up like that one. This, this Facebook account I've had for a couple of years, but this business manager account with these new ad accounts, I've only had... For about six months okay and I'm, I'm letting them sit um i just ran a little bit of ads on them a few months ago i let them sit because i'm getting ready to uh prep for this upcoming holiday season so i have the facebook what you can do is you can actually create up to 22 ad accounts and i'll show you how to do that um inside of this in another video but to get them to uh reactivate the account uh, let me see if i can log into accounts where it's not like totally deactivated and that process step by step. There's another one I have. Let's see if this the deal with this one. So come on. Yeah, this is it. So with this, you'll see on all these business managers, I've got multiple ad accounts and multiple business manager accounts per Facebook account. And that's because you, you always have to stay on top of Facebook. You always got to stay ahead of them. That way you can always have means to advertise, okay? Because, man, Facebook has shut down accounts where I've spent six figures on already. Um, and it's a real pain in the butt because... You know, you put all, you build the audience up, you put all this money into it, you get, you have the, the, uh, have the, uh, the ad account set just right, and then they, sh they shut it down for whatever reason, and it's like, damn, that's messed up Facebook, they don't want you to be great, but it's easy to, um, I mean, it's a little frustrating, to be honest with you, but you can, you can will through it, man, you just can't give up on your ad accounts, okay, you just gotta, from time to time, you just have to come back here into your dead ad accounts that are not active and do put in another request. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to send a request in four or five times. And then for whatever reason, they're just going to unlock it or they won't. And even if they say they won't, you can still send another request in to have them unlock it. And they just might. Like, let me look at these with the disabled payment. Because this might be because they disabled the payment method, so I could not pay the bill on Facebook. And that's another issue that you have sometimes. You have a lot of times with Facebook. Um, they won't allow you to pay your advertising bill, which is a pain in the butt. You wonder how this is a multi-billion dollar company, right? So like this one, let's see, um, business manager, payment setup. And if you're using a business manager, as per Facebook suggests, they say it's best to set up the business manager payments from the business manager so that, so that way it reduces the, I don't know why they put it like this, but it reduces the uh, Facebook takes, it has a high, 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 higher priority of security when it's like that. So your ads are less likely to be 
flagged or your payment methods like like less less likely to be suspended. And you can use one credit card on multiple ad accounts that way, which makes it easy for you to manage your budget. So it's like this one says I can settle it, but see how it says I can't they disable the payment. So just click contact us. It'll give you the list of ad accounts. I don't remember, I think it was Shopify. See how many that I have on there? See, I always want to keep multiple accounts like this. So I just tell them, hey, um, who's the owner of this ad account? Just make sure you put the right name. I think make sure you put the right name, put matches. and hit send because people real human beings actually read those so sometimes you got to send them in a few times sometimes this form is a little different and it says you got to wait a day or two but a lot of times facebook gets back to you within the hour so just check your phone for notifications to see what the update is on your ad account status, okay? So just check your notifications and you'll be able to see. Now there's sometimes when you can come on here if you hit this little help tab, the gold. So hang on a second, just check this out. If you hit this little help tab like I was showing you earlier, there, from time to time this pops up where you can actually get, um, sorry, help, you can actually get to talk to a live person in chat. Sometimes they have it in your chat box, it's already set up, they have a link for it. Um, and you can hit to get live, live, live chat help, with live chat support, which is cool. So that allows you, sometimes it's right here as well, they have chat hours, but it, they it's not here right now. But always check this from time to time, okay? And you'll be able to potentially um, catch them when they do have support. Um, up. But the most important thing is to just continue to um, hit up support, man. Fill out those forms. Okay, fill the forms out for the ad accounts because that's the way how they connect with you. That's the way they can connect with you to let you know whether or not you'll be able to get help or be able to not help you and they'll tell you shit out sometimes you know oh this is the final decision blah 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 and you can still send a message in and they'll unlock the account you know sometimes you just gotta wait a few months sometimes i mean i don't i really don't i can't i don't have the exact answer to that because it's not like we can just call up facebook and ask them these specific questions because most of the people that work there don't even know the answer to these questions themselves there was one point in time when they did have support that would call you on the phone and uh, take over the computer and help you run ads, but they took away with those services. Um, I haven't seen that in quite some time, but uh, if you just stay consistent on one, creating multiple accounts, you can purchase ad accounts as well if you want to. That helps um, if you want to do that. And then uh, you can always create new Facebook accounts, just use a different email address, different phone number, uh, and just keep a good record of it so that we can manage your accounts. I've got about eight or nine of Facebook accounts right now that I use. Yeah, it sounds like a lot, but um, I mainly use them just for advertising. So I'm not like actively, actively on the Facebook account. I have some automated tools that make it look like makes it look like I am, but I'm not. Because um, just running the advertisement alone is a lot. So I can't imagine. You know what I mean? Yeah, just imagine trying to manage all that stuff. So anyway, hope this helps, man. Check out my next video. If this makes some sense, give me a thumbs up, a like below, comment below. Let me know what your problem is with Facebook ads, what challenges you're having. Um, maybe I can I can help you specifically. Um, and I'd love to see you get your, your advertising going, man, because this shit is a pain. I've actually ran through over 300 Facebook ad accounts in like a year and a half. So trust me, I've been through all the ups and downs rigors of running Facebook ad accounts. So if you need any help, let me know. As you can see, this is another kind of got a bunch more accounts. And um, I can give you some pointers and help you get back started on the right track. So take care. Hit the thumbs up. Peace.